Yes, hello everybody, my name is Andrew Great, and welcome to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team! <laughs> so, uh, this is one of my favourite games, I can't wait to get in and play this. Let's first start play! Boom! Starting again? No, no, I haven't got anything else loaded. Welcome to the Pokemon world! This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon, but before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want to let you to answer them sincerely. Ask away, are you ready? Okay, let the interview get begin. There are many things that you- hell yeah there is. For one, I'd love to go skydiving. The road forks to the right left, you were told there was a train on the right side, what do you do? Uh... I'd go cautiously on the left side. To mostly enjoy yourself with the ship. Do all this time you... To watch what you say. Ah, uh, yeah, what do you do with your wings like when you're going to bed? Uh... Turn off. Receive a gift, but you don't know what to do, you choose. So do you to open it now, obviously. Yes? I'm weird, I know. <gasps> you bungee jumping for the first time! It's, it's, it's scary, you decided to test to jump with the door. But you cuts nuts. We still talk about jump anyway. Nope! No way! Sassy to- Hey! Something appealing and lovable about you. Yep. To make that mistake, or oh, people called you considered vain or selfish. No? No people say that with you? Really ask you come in and sit. So, hello, friends. You're cool and aloof, but it's what to find you. and appealing at the same time. Sassy person like you should be. I told you. Oh, yes, Draco! Can't wait that, obviously. I'm really no good with nicknames here. Hello, dude. And no, see, what this is. I just went back to have a look at my video recording, and my voice is really, really loud, so. No matter what I do, it's always going to be loud, and if you can hear it right now, it's probably quite pixelated or something. But it's going to be like that for, you know, the rest of the game. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. But, like, I have my volume on my mic turned down to 2% here, and the game, turn the game sound turned down to 6%. That's how loud I am. Please wake up, come on, wake up. Maybe I'll go grab my microphone. So, uh, how much better is this? I'm not sure if this is better or worse, but... Oh well, where is it? You're past out here, I'm glad to see you awake. I'm charming, glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. Uh huh? You a walk? You're a human. <laughs> you look like a normal trico in every way. Oh no, it, it's true! I've turned into a Twigo. That'd be so cool, like my ultimate dream to have turned into a Pokemon and go in this Pokemon world. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. That's not nice to say to someone that you've just met. Your name? What's your name? Well, yeah, that's right, my name is... A... L... D... O... N... O... Name Aldo okay? Yes. Oh, Aldo is your name. Well, it's a funny name. Somebody, please help me. Huh? I hear shouts from over there. What's wrong? It's horrible. My canopy fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? The fissure opened in the ground and my canopy fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By the Pokemon? It must be enraged by the fissure and out of control. That, that's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? What am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad, we have to go help. I'm not sure if people are gonna like this game because it's quite slow. Slow paced, but I love it. And I'm gonna keep doing a series anyway. Alright, there's the door. Proceed. That's what move it to a unit. Oh crap! Oh, I forgot. And, uh, there we go. B button moves. Okay. 
Oh, I was gonna get into position there. Money! Don't use money in this world. Collect and save it to my useful items. Now, the thing I love about this game is recruiting, te recruiting team members and how it happens. It's not up to you, it's up to luck. Here's put poisoning. Okay, that should be useful. Owen Berry. Owen Berry's are definitely, obviously, my favourite. Well, that was a long one. Where? Baby, where are you? We came to rescue you. I'm, I'm drinking. What about there? If you haven't noticed. Huh? Your mum's waiting. Let's get you out. It'd be cool if they had escort missions in this game. Like, I hope they do. That'd be awesome. The baby's safe. I'm sorry, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fishes like that one. It was great to find your little boy at home. Yeah, otherwise we may have had to have him in the suit. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Chamond. This is Oliver. Cool. <laughs> He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes, it's, uh, it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> this doesn't feel bad either, it's like I'm a hero. Having Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. I hope it is. Thank you, Chum Edwin Oliver. I know it's really enough. This is a token of our thanks, please accept it. Oh yeah, Orange Berry. Petcha Berry. Roast Berry. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're very tough, I was impressed. Also, if you haven't noticed already, I've got my webcam up just here, I think, I don't know where it is. So that's just, that's new. I didn't know how to do it earlier. Where's that old one? If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Sweet. Well this actually looks pretty cool. Well, this is the place. I love how it's grass and he's a fire type, because that shouldn't work like that. Wow, I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel really happy. Might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. But this is what it feels like to wag your tail, or to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy! Maybe I feel that way because I'm Trika. No shit. Oh, well, Aldermo, you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live. Wait, so he made that all before we got here. I was sure you would like it. This is your mailbox. Oh yeah, because he made the house for me. You know, just like the fisher canopy fell into. For some reason, there, there have been many natural disasters like me. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times. I want to help change things so all the Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh, well, I liked how you handled yourself when we rescued Canopy. Would you like to join me on a rescue team? Do you? I think we could even become the world's best rescue team. Rescue team, how about? Hell yeah! Perfect, that's it then. We're partners in our rescue team. Tell me what I want. Team no, I don't have one yet, so I don't know you think would be a good name for us. Team Pope E. Oh my god, I suck at using this keyboard. Pokemon's... What was that? Team Pokemaster. Yeah. Pokemaster. I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect for us. Rescue Team Pokemaster. Let's go do... Let's do good starting tomorrow. Oh god, it's just like a diet. Yeah, I'm not gonna read anything tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm not gonna read anything tomorrow while you're like shoveling cake into your mouth. And that day, Elmo and Charmander began their careers together as a rescue team. So that's it for this episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later.